Hi, my name is Andy Sykes. I'm an award-winning animator and illustrator based in the UK. Welcome to my lessons on Flash CS5. This is my website, hexjibber.com. You can check out my animation, my illustration, my interactive work, and also more of my video tutorials in Flash. Enjoy. Hi, and welcome to my tutorial on importing video into Flash. To import a video, you go up to File, Import, Import Video, and then you'll get this box here, and it says, where is the video file? It's on my computer, and I have to tell it whereabouts it is. So I'm going to click on Browse. And here I'm in Video Lesson 1, and I've got an andy.mov file. So that's a QuickTime file. I'm going to open that. And it's going to tell me that the selected file does not appear to be supported by Adobe Flash Player, although it may work for custom uses such as mobile devices. If necessary, launch Adobe Media Encoder to convert this file to a supported format such as FLV or F4V. Those are the two file types that Flash can handle, FLV and F4V. So I'm going to click OK. And you can see there's a little button down here that says Launch Adobe Media Encoder. So I'm going to convert that .mov file into an FLV or an F4V so that I can import them into Flash. So let's launch Adobe Media Encoder. Here it is. So I'm just going to drag my Andy file into Adobe Media Encoder there. You can see, there we go, andy.mov. And the format selected is FLV or F4V. You can see I've got a whole load of options there, but that's the one I want. And the preset is set to F4V match source attributes high quality. So my original uh, video size it's telling me there is 640 by 480. The audio is 128 kilobits. Uh, it's got a variable bit rate, that's VBR, variable bit rate. CBR would be constant bit rate. I recorded this video using my webcam and QuickTime. So these are the default settings. So all I need to do now is tell it where to create this F4V file. And it's going to create it in video lesson one, which is what I want. So I'm just going to click start queue. And you can see it's going through my video and rendering it. I can now find it in my video lesson one file, andy.f4v. So we can skip back to flash, go to browse, and import that F4V file. Click continue. Next up, we've got a skinning menu, and it's asking us what sort of skin we want to use to embed our video. You can see at the moment we've got a skin called skin overplay.swf. There's lots of different ones to choose from. It'll probably start on this one, Minima Flat Custom. You can choose the color of your video player. Um, there's lots of different options there. Once you've chosen one, it'll create an SWF and it'll put it in here with your FLA file and your F4V so that when you upload it to the internet, it'll all be in one root file. So I'm going to click continue. Next up, it's just telling me where my files are located and my video will be located in the relative path to my SWF. So that's just what I explained. It all has to be in one root folder. So your SWF file for your video skin has to be in the same place as the SWF file for your entire movie that you've exported. And the F4V or FLV has to be in that folder as well. It says the video component uses a skin that will be copied next to your FLA when you publish or test movie. This file will need to be deployed to your server. So that's what I just said. And it says that in the component inspector, you have to refer to the video's final location. So if you decide to move the video outside of the root folder, then you have to tell Flash where it will be in relation to your SWF. So I'm going to click Finish. And here we go. That's our video in our Flash project. We can move it around. We can make it bigger or smaller. We can also add extra layers. So if I wanted to have a green background behind it, I could stick that on a layer behind it. 
like that. Call that layer background. Next up, I can publish that. So if I go to publish, it will publish my movie. And it will also create some HTML for it, which you can see here. So in our video lesson one, we've got our final exported SWF. We've got the HTML to go with it. We've got this minima flat custom uh, skin for our video. And we've got our F4V file there. So if we open this HTML, we'll see our video. Hello, here's a video of me to use in Flash. And you can see that we've got control over the timeline here. Volume. Uh, we don't have any closed captions, but if we wanted to make it full screen, then we could do play, skip back to the beginning. There we go. So that's importing video into Flash. Next up, I'm going to show you how to import a clip with an alpha channel. So I'll see you in the next lesson. Hi, if you enjoyed this lesson, why not consider checking out the Hexjibber Coloring and Activity book on my website, hexjibber.com. It's suitable for kids and adults alike, and you can get it from Amazon, Play.com, and WH Smiths. Cheers.